Hello Squirrels and welcome to PPM6 TV. Today what it is is Zoom series recorders, particularly the H8, the newish king of the H or Handy series, and the F6, which represents the F series of field recorders from Zoom. And I've had a couple of questions about um, the arrival of the H8 and it's got a lot of facilities. You know, is it a real contender against the more expensive recorders in the F series? Well, um, the great Curtis Judd, do check out his video on this. He, he's a very good guy, makes lovely videos, and he's so much better looking than me. He's a very annoying man, but check out his videos. Um, he describes the H8 as the Swiss army knife of audio recorders. Does that mean it's very expensive and you can't take it on a plane? I don't know, but um, I think it is a jack of all trades. But uh, that saying has a, two endings in English, master of one, or master of none. Which of those might apply to the H8? Well, let me just come straight out of the bat and say, um, I don't think this is a field recorder. There, I've said it. I'm not saying they aren't used in the field. There's, there's millions of H series recorders in use in the field. Of course there are. But um, I'm gonna tell you why I don't think it is for me. Now, when you boot this thing, it's got a nice little touch screen you can see on there. You can see I'm recording. Um, uh, it comes up with a, with some apps. You can actually choose which mode to work in. And there's uh, there's podcast, there's music, or there's field. So obviously uh, Zoom think this is a, a field recorder, but I'm going to disagree with them. Why am I going to disagree with them? Well, I'm going to give you three aspects at least of field recorders that this doesn't have. First, for me, a proper field recorder goes in a bag round your neck to leave your hands free. Now I know you can mount this on a you know a threaded insert on the back and all that, but for, that's not the point, right? This or an, or an F8N or an F8 or an F4 is designed to go in a bag round your neck so that all the controls, all the really important controls, are on the on the front face. That's not the case. Can't put this in a bag. You wouldn't be able to get access to the controls. Point number two: time code. A proper field recorder has time code. Okay. The F4, the F8, the F6, uh, the F8N all have uh, very, very good timecode implementations. Check out the timecode videos if you're in any doubt about that. No timecode on the H8N. Um, a little bit more controversial, but I will stick to it. Powering. Um, the H8 can be powered from um, USB over micro B, or it can be powered uh, by internal AA batteries. As can the F series of recorders, but they also offer professional powering options. The F4, the F8, and the F8N all, all have a high rose input for a professional battery solution. And of course, the, um, the F6 allows you to park a Sony um, NP battery on the back for um, long-term powering. No such option on here. It's not a field recorder. Boo-hoo. Does that mean this is no good? Of course it doesn't mean that. It just means it's probably four different things. At a pinch, you can use it in the field. But uh, it has so much else to offer um, that you might want to consider it for other reasons. Now, the, the sharp point of you will notice that this is a Shure SM7B, which is notorious for needing a lot of gain. The F series provides 75 dB of gain. That's a lot of gain. Um, and that's ample for um, the, the Shure. The H8, now, I haven't got an audio precision uh, bit of kit to measure this, but I think the H8 offers about 73 dB of gain. Comfortably enough to run an SM7B. And of course, that for the podcast guys is music to your ears, I know. And it's not a, a crap mic input. I've, I've tried to do some measurements comparing the noise on this at the same gain, at the 73 dB, and set the um, F6 for that. And I reckon that this may be a dB noisier, maybe two, but nothing to write home about. So this is an accomplished um, device. As I've said, it's got a touch screen. It's got six inputs out of the box. Plus, of course, you can plug in those Zoom uh, extra mics in there. And Zoom now have an extra panel, which kind of looks like this, which adds another four mic inputs, complete with controls and all, all, the, doof all the doofers. Um, and that is going to boost this to a 10 input recorder. I think that will only be usable in the music app in that mode, but um, uh, in the I should say in the podcast app, you can only use four of the mics, but then you do get some replay. Yes, if you put some audio files on, a, on an SD card, 
plug them in, you can assign them to a little touchpad on the screen and play your jingles out of there. And actually on that point, if you try doing that on an F6 or an F8, it won't work. I haven't been able to get, if you put a, a WAV file on, a, on an SD card and plug it in, it won't play it. Unless you name it the same as a file that you've already recorded on there. Very strange. Anyway, I'm going to make some uh, audio comparisons now. Uh, out of vision, you'll be glad to hear. Drat you, Curtis. And uh, let you have a listen to see what differences we can hear between these two devices. Let's have a go at that. Starting with the H8 and the Shure SM7B. Now, I'm a little bit further back from an SM7B than I would be normally. And that's a good thing because it demonstrates how much gain there is in the H8. I've got it at max, which is uh, about the 72, 73 dB mark, um, which we've um, measured up against the uh, Zoom F6. And um, I'm going to sneak in a little bit closer just to see. I think I can overload it. I'm getting close. I mean, I'm watching the meters here. I don't know um, exactly how close to overloading it I am, but um, I'm guessing that if the meters are accurate, I'm, I'm should be. I'm just about punching up to um, up to the red stop. So um, there's an indication, plenty of gain. Is it clean gain? Well, that's one of the things this test will show. And also a, a comparison of sound quality with the F6. I think the mic amps are similar, if not identical. Although we do think there is a touch more gain and a touch less noise in the F6's uh, mic preamp. And I thought we'd take this opportunity to test the limiters in the um, H8. If you've uh, been following my videos, you know I've got several videos up about zoom limiters in general. And um, pretty effective they are, although they are acting in uh, digital domain rather than in the um, analog domain, which is the ideal. Um, now, um, I'm going to get right into the uh, Shure SM7B. And I think with, a, with the 70 odd, 73 dB of gain or so that we've got here, I think we're going to need a limiter. Let's have a go. So here we are. This is uh, sucking it up like an ice cream cone. And um, I'm banging onto the red here uh, without too much difficulty. Hopefully the limiter is making this um, not too exorable um, uh, as I listen. And uh, I've backed off a bit there. I'm just going to move in slowly. Here we go. One, two, three. We're going to hit the limiters. I should think that the limiters are set at minus 2 dB. The, sorry, these are the standard settings. And you can only have one DSP module at a time. So you can't have a limiter and a compressor and a gate. You, you, you choose one. But even that's pretty funky uh, in a portable handheld recorder. I'm getting closer and closer and closer. And there, I should think, I am up to the limiter. And we'll do the same thing uh, on the F6 in a moment. We've moved now to the F6 and despite the track being labeled 416 we have of course got the Shure SM7B plugged in as before. Now the gain is set to um, 73 dB which gives us a couple of dB in hand but I think closely matches it's a rule of thumb match I accept that but closely matches as far as I can see the gain available on the H8. There is, uh, as I say, another couple of dB gain on the on the F6, and uh, there is about a dB less noise or so, again, with my rule of thumb measurements at this gain setting. This is, again, about a um, hand span seven inches away from the mic, maybe a little bit further away than you'd want to work an SM7B. So I'm going to get close, going to get ice cream distance. Here I am, nice and close. Should be um, whacking that mic amp around a bit here at this, so we can see that the meter is being driven into the red. Now, at the moment, I haven't got uh, a limiter in, and I, uh, there is a limiter on every track of the um, F6, um, although there isn't the range of DSP options that you get on the H8. But let's um, show you what I think is a bit of the, the clunky workflow on, a, on, a, on an F6 because of the limitations of the size of the device. So first, we want to page down to the limiter setting. And then we uh, press the accept button to go into that menu. And because I was in there recently, it remembers that. And um, I go one step further down and I can see that it's off. And I uh, accept again to get some options. And then I get, um, I get a, a normal limiter or an advanced limiter. Well, I've, I've never been advanced, so normal will be good enough for me. And so I've selected that. And now I go back and I can see my settings. Um, interesting as a soft knee setting, which I don't think there was a knee on the H8. And then back again and back again to the pre-fade screen. So now with the normal limiter in, let's get right in close again. And uh, now I can see the limiter working light on the screen. And I should say, 
because I'm, I'm at a, quite an angle to the screen. I think the screen on the F6 is brighter and certainly more visible from angles than the H8 is. Though it has to be said that that touchscreen on the H8 is great and it just smooths the workflow. You've seen some of the workflow with the buttons on the F6. I think that 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 um, option of the touchscreen does make the workflow easier on the H8. But what does it sound like? Well, here's your chance to tell. Whack in the limiter on the F6 for a comparison with the H8. So what have we learned? Well, the first thing we've learned is not to trust your thumbs. I reckoned as a rule of thumb that... Um, the H8 had about 73, 72 dB of gain. I'm going to have to revise that down on closer testing. I think the real uh, amount of gain is probably around about 70 or just under dB. So I think that the F series will have a comfortable 5 dB, 6 dB gain advantage. Now, you can run an SM7B into this, and the mic amps are commendably quiet. Uh, so you will get a good result, but an F series will be better if you need that um, that uh, gain in the mid 70s figures, which of course you get with 75 dB in the uh, F6 and indeed the F8N. Um, there is lots to like about this, though. I mean, I was I was thrilled to find out in the podcast uh, mode you've got four little on-screen touch buttons to play files. You can play them all at once. How clever is that? And I suppose it shows the power maybe of the DSP. Um, and that the fact that you've got such a good range of DSP options growing in the machine, that's another advantage. Um, uh, and there's lots to like about it. Uh, I, I'll repeat what I know for the third time why I think for a location recorder, there's only one winner. It's got to go in a bag. It has to have time code. And it has to have a professional powering solution. And um, this just doesn't have that. Does that mean that th this is a loser, <laughs> a loser recorder? Not at all. I think as a tabletop recorder, um, handheld, yes, of course you can handle it, but you don't want to handhold it with, you know, six XLRs coming out of it. It's a tabletop recorder. This is excellent value for money. Um, the, the, the mic amps are quiet. You can add on another pack with another four inputs. Um, uh, you, you've got, uh, uh, you know, direct access to to, to, to the pots for, for, for gain. Um, I like the touchscreen. It's not the brightest in the world, but it does allow a more convenient workflow than, than on the, um, uh, the F6, for example. So what I'm going to say is on this occasion, there are only two winners. Everyone shall have prizes. Hey, that's uh, very much the spirit of the age. Thanks for coming by PPM6 TV. I hope you enjoyed your visit. Um, do come again soon and don't forget to subscribe. It does help. Bye for now.